Hare Krishna everyone I am Kavya Buddhi Raja and welcome back to being Krishna conscious Today we are going to talk about something very significant in life we have to go through a lot of phases some of these phases are full of happiness joy pleasure whereas there are some other phases in which we get so upset so sad so anxious that some of us end up having depression or sometimes even start getting suicidal thoughts so here an important question arises how can we learn to tolerate these severe situations in today's video we are going to try to answer this question In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says an interesting thing. He says that with the bad situations, you should also try to tolerate the good situations. Now this is very new to all of us. Let's see what Krishna says. In chapter number 2, verse number 14, Sri Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, "Matra sparshastu konteya shitoshna sukha dukhda" आगमा पाई नो नित्यास ताम श्री कृष्णा सेज दैट वन मस्ट टॉलरेट हिज गुड एंड हिज बैड टाइम्स जस्ट लाइक ही टॉलरेट्स द चेंजिंग वेदर्स शीतोष्ण शीत एंड उष्ण शीत मीन्स विंटर्स एंड उष्ण मीन्स समर्स सो जस्ट लाइक वी टॉलरेट द वेदर्स विच कीप ऑन चेंजिंग फ्रॉम विंटर टू समर एंड देन अगेन फ्रॉम समर टू विंटर which are non permanent in nature which means that they keep on changing they are temporary similarly knowing that these situations are also temporary we must learn to tolerate them after a good situation bad situation is bound to happen and after a bad situation good will definitely come so the first point to be kept in mind is that one must learn to tolerate these good and bad situations knowing that they are just like those changing weathers after a good time bad time is bound to happen and after a bad time good times will come now moving forward to the second aspect of this issue how can we really tolerate this situation shrila prabhupad points out that one must perform his activities as a matter of duty now why as a matter of duty because when a person is performing an act as a matter of duty in that circumstance he will not be attached to the fruits which are reaped from that activity which means that even if something good or bad occurs he will be able to digest that situation with a steady mind so the second point is that we must perform our activities as a matter of duty now the third point please know that whatever situation is coming in our life it is only coming to make us a strong individual there's a saying in hindi jab paristhiti hamare niyantran mein na ho to manasthiti ko niyantrit karna chahiye which means that if the situation is not under our control then we should try to control the state of our mind and how can we control our mind state by knowing that everything which is coming into my life is only coming after the sanction of the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna because in the bhagavad gita shri krishna is referred to as anumanta and upadrishta anumanta means he is the sanctioner and upadrishta means he is the supervisor so we are under the shelter of that supreme personality who is overseeing everything that is happening in our life and anything which is coming to us is only coming after getting sanction from krishna so under all circumstances our faith should be unflinching so the root is unflinching faith now how can we get this unflinching faith shripad aindra prabhu says that only after applying the process you will get the result if you want to get curd out of milk then you have to apply the process of churning the milk similarly churning the milk of this material existence which means by applying the principles of bhakti yoga the principles which have been enshrined in shrimad bhagavad gita by applying those principles in our life we will be able to see the real picture for example 
just in the previous shlok that is from chapter 2 verse 13 shri krishna says dehino asmin yatha dehe komaram yovanam zara tatha dehantara praptir dhiras tatra namuhyati shri krishna says that just as a body goes through different phases from childhood to youthhood to adulthood and then to finally death similarly a soul transmigrates from one body to another upon the death of the previous body and a sober person is not bewildered by such a change so shri krishna is presenting the absolute truth and is also telling us what are the symptoms what are the signs of a real sadhu of a real yogi so the need is to read the scriptures and apply those principles in our life so that we may not be bewildered by the change of weather like situations in our life and would be able to tolerate them with a steady mind talking of steady mind prahlad maharaj is the greatest example of a person having steady mind we know that hiranyakashipu who was the father of prahlad maharaj was the greatest demon of satya yoga and when hiranyakashipu put all of his efforts in killing little prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj did not retaliate he accepted the situation and showed his dependence on vishnu and in the end shri krishna had to appear as narsingh dev in order to protect his devotee prahlad maharaj now i'm 100% sure that none of us has more pains and more sufferings than prahlad maharaj so prahlad maharaj is teaching us by example that what happens when we take shelter of the supreme lord krishna krishna personally takes up our charge and protects us so the art of tolerance lies in the practice of the principles of shrimad bhagavad gita so this is the best time to start reading the gita and trying to apply the principles which have been enshrined in the bhagavad gita so i hope that this video worked as a reminder for all of us that how important it is to apply the principles of our scriptures if we really want to learn the art of tolerance and grow further in life shrimad bhagavad gita yatha roop ki jai shrila prabhupad ki jai 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 shri radhe shyam hare krishna Hari bol if you want me to make videos on some other topics please kindly let me know in the comment section below i will see you all in my next video hare krishna jai shri la prabhupad